let's take a look at how simple and easy it is to disassemble and then reassemble the Avian Knives Atlas. First thing you're going to want to do is simply open your blade halfway, and this is going to disengage the lock from the blade. Then you're going to locate this locking clip right back here. Once you've found that locking clip on the back of the knife, you're just simply going to pry that up with your fingernail. Once you've done that, you'll notice the pin is going to rotate with that clip. Once you rotate it fully vertically, you're going to simply squeeze the backspacer. Once you squeeze the backspacer, that pin should fall right out. If it doesn't fall out on its own, you can give it a quick little push with your finger. Once you've done that, simply remove the locking clip and then the pocket clip as well. Now we can flip the knife over and lay it down. Now, once we have very quickly and easily opened up the back spacer, we're gonna move that out of the way. Then we're gonna take this retaining clip that holds in the pivot and slide that rearward. You can use one of the little notches that you see milled into it, slide it back very easily. And that is going to unlock the pivot. Now we could actually pull the pivot out from the other side if we want to. Once we've done that, we want to go ahead and shake loose this pin from the rear. Future knives after the prototypes, this will be a captured pin and will no longer come out, but for the prototypes, they will. Now, once we've done that, we can very simply remove the lock side of the knife. The steel washer will re be retained within that lock side. We could take the back spacer out. That pin also does easily come out of there. Please do note that. And then you can take your blade out. Please be careful not to cut yourself. You can very simply pop out the bearings off that side. And then of course, you have your retaining clip on this side that holds the pivot. And then your bearings on this side as well. Once all that is disassembled, your disassembly is done and you can do all the cleaning that you need to do. As you're about to see, reassembly is just as easy. All you're gonna do is take the non-locking retaining clip and you're just simply gonna drop the pivot right into there. Drop the pivot back into place where it would go into the frame. Once you've done that, you can lay that back down, drop in one set of your bearings Take your blade, carefully drop it into place. Replace your bearings there. We still have the pin on the back spacer, but if it has fallen out, you can just very simply drop that into the only hole in the frame up at the top. Now drop your back spacer back into place. Remember to leave your blade in the half open position. You can also do the same thing with your back spacer. Now we have the bearings back in place. We can simply put our rear pin into place in the only hole at the rear of the frame. Drop the lock side back over the pivot. Make sure everything clicks into place. Then we're gonna take our locking pivot retainer. We're gonna slide that right into place. If you feel an undue amount of tension, pull it back out and make sure both of those pins that were in here are aligned. This should be snug, but not overly tight. Now, we can simply close the back spacer, drop the pocket clip back in place, and take our pin. We want to orient this end of the pin vertically, just to make things a little bit easier. Squeeze the back spacer so the pin drops fully into place. Now the knife is all held together, okay? but we still need to get this clip in. All you're gonna do is keep that pin from dropping out and squeeze the back spacer, just so the pin opens up enough room 
to fit this back in there. Once we're able to slide that in, we want to find that vertical orientation. Hold the pin, squeeze the backspacer, squeeze everything back together. And then you're able to lock everything back into place. And your knife is fully reassembled.